Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. Sorry I haven't made a video in a few days. Uh, my wife was sick and uh, you know it's very busy. I'll show you uh, some of the things, something I got recently that kind of took a lot of my time. Uh, but first off guys, Happy Easter. Um, yep, just gave my wife an Easter basket because she insists on it every year. So, And uh, Vance is in there with his, uh, his family, a bunch of kids and stuff. So I'm kind of uh, avoiding that at all costs. But anyway, so today I'm going to be working on some stuff, and, uh, you know, because uh, Easter, there's no distractions, it's pretty nice, so. But, guys, first I'm going to show you my new EDC here. I got this one, uh, like a week or so ago, like a week and a half ago, and um, this is the Curtis F3 Flipper, I'm sure you guys have seen it a bunch of times on other channels. Uh, the thing is absolutely amazing. Uh, Everyone I know has them. Has says they're they're absolutely perfect. Mine had some minor issues with it, and um, yeah, I had been talking to Dave Curtis uh, right before I got it, pretty much. And uh, he's a really nice guy, and I decided to send it to him to fix it up a bit. And he took one day to do it and send it back. Um, probably one of the coolest dudes I've talked to on the phone, as far as knife maker makers go. His policy is awesome. Customer service is incredible, guys. I definitely say support Curtis Knives 100%. Um, the guy is just a stand-up guy and uh, does some really damn good work. Uh, he's also a great late water jet, so he does a lot of water jetting for a lot of other knife makers. And uh, his knives are incredible. He's got the Nano, if you guys weren't familiar with Curtis. Uh, the Boker Nano and the you know the real Nanos, of course. So, uh, yeah, I've been talking to him. and. Uh, just fun to talk to, and I'm amazed at how fast and and uh, quickly he just fixed this. He just did not like that this there was anything wrong with it whatsoever, and he told me to send it back to him, no charge, no shipping, anything, and he just fixed it up, and it's awesome, just like the rest of the ones that are out there. Um, I know for a fact that this was just one, <laughs> just one out of tons that that's like this. There's none. There's no other. There's probably like maybe he said like two or so that got messed up like this. But even if there is. You know, it just had sticky lock, that's it. And uh, that just bugged him so much. Even though I could have probably fixed it myself, uh, he just really wanted me to send it because he, he cares about his name on his products. And I really respect that. And uh, the fact that he shuts down shop to fix up something that, that may be wrong uh, because that's his first priority. Uh, it's just something to basically, basically using as an example of, of how to run a business properly and have good customer service. So I highly rec recommend this one. This is a. Uh, the F3 flipper, this is a three and a half inch. Awesome, full tie, got that really cool pivot screw, um, which is just really cool. Nice lock up, solid as a rock. It's got the bearings in it. Backspacers titanium, that's an option you can get. Awesome clip. Now mine's anodized, I did anodize it myself. I bronzed it to show him, uh, because he uses the torch to anodize most things, and uh, he was thinking about getting one of the anodizing machines I have. So I anodized it to show him what it looked like. Uh, right now it's just like, gun wear from grease on my hands but it's a really deep color but I really love this thing and I'll be carrying it for a while it just whips open nicely just awesome it's almost got a little sponto grind on it so yeah and uh got the tough one back or not the tough one the tough the tie mask or tough tan excuse me uh you know it's all digitized ready to go I'm just going on Monday to check out the files and we're gonna get started right away uh see how much material I need to do each one and uh, I did some testing on this thing. It's ridiculously sharp. And uh, I did a lot of, a little bit of a cut test, which I was showing the other day. Uh, I was trying to do a video the other day. I actually do it, tried to do a video every day this week almost and got distracted so much that I couldn't. Uh, the other day when I was doing it, I actually, some homeless guy was walking around the front of my house. Out, and I live in the middle of nowhere. I, mean, I live on a road that's a main road going through the town, but there's a homeless guy and my door was open in my house so I got real distracted and I couldn't I couldn't concentrate so I just shut the video off and never got back around to it but he left so no worries but uh, I was hit I was chopping some wood with it just to find out what would happen and you just take my word on it guys it chopped through the wood like crazy it was nuts um, I wish that piece of wood was near me somewhere but I can't find it or a piece of notebook paper so I can show you the cut test but of course that's not there either You guys know how terrible I am at cutting on camera. So you can see it's really nice and sharp. It's kind of hard to cut this little piece on the camera here. 
so it's awesomely sharp. And uh, no lockup issues at all, even though this one's done not completely perfect um, because it's all hand done. So yeah, those will be coming within a month or two, they'll be done. So, and right now the pre-orders uh, pretty much are invite and then a few will be left over which I'll do first come first serve. So, you know, I had to give some out to, you know, some of my buddies that have been with me for a long time, uh, some repeat customers and good friends, uh, just because they'd always want something from me before everyone else. So. You know, but I will be making these nonstop, so hopefully uh, the first one will work out. So anyway, on to the pimp jobs. Now I'm five minutes and a half in. So first up, this one I did a redo on. You guys saw this the other day. This is a brass blade. I love this one. It was a little too thin, so I added some titanium liners and bronzed them. And they're just really, really nice. Absolutely gorgeous. Just really classy and uh, nice and it's a little heavier, but you know, they're still lightweight because it's titanium. I'm just going to countersink these screws more so they go in because they're just popping out a little too much because of how thin they were before, but just something, a little touch I have to do. I love this knife. Love this knife. Jason definitely hit it out of the park on this one for sure. It's gorgeous. It's cool looking and I was like not sure because it looks a little bit, a little bit more decorative, but it's, it's just awesome. It's got good grip options and it's really secure in your hand. And uh, lightning strike with the titanium liners. This thing is beautiful. Love it. Just flows perfectly. So next up, <clears throat> this one I did the other day. Well, I did this one like four days ago. Uh, this is another brass blade. Now, this one has the new material, the uh, kiridite, kiridite, kiridite. I don't know how the hell you say it. Um, as you can see, it's just ridiculously polished. And uh, brown G10 on the bottom there with a like kind of a, an angled rock pattern or a natural pattern on it and see this material is beautiful I mean it's like glass shiny it's really comfortable and smooth see that pattern on there is a little smoother than the rest of it but you see that like pearly it's beautiful it's kinda of like coffee when you pour creamer in a coffee or something like that really like this material and well, I don't think I'll use it for full scales on a folder, but you know, bolsters and like stuff like that. See, there's tan liners, Kaido tan liners, brown, earth brown scales. Nice knife. These will be going to blade. And uh, I'm gonna do some crazy, crazy stuff on these brass blades, you guys will see. So, I got one, some material coming today that I'm doing on his Koran that I know he's most excited about me doing this one. So, I'm gonna do some really cool stuff. He's gonna be blown away. Uh, it's fun working with brass and uh. Yeah, basically blowing his mind. I like to like to you know see him get excited about uh, some of the stuff I'm doing, and uh, really just go all out on his knives. I really appreciate everything he's done for me and the stuff he does for the knife community. Like even sending stuff to Alex Dietz, uh, it's really cool of him to do that. To you know not only just send stuff to me but also support other knife pimpers who are trying to make it. So it's really cool. Now, if you guys don't know who Alex Dietz is, I'll put a link to his channel. If I can remember. So I'll be in the shop all day, so I might put the link in later. But Alexander E. Dietz, he pimps knives. He does a really damn good job. He's a good friend of mine. I don't think of him as competition or anything like that. Uh, I talk to him all the time. I play Xbox with him. Uh, he's one of my good buddies on uh, YouTube that I can never never meet unless I drive all the way or fly across country to Oregon. But definitely good dude. He's got good videos um, and does, does some good pimp jobs. He just got a Wilmot, so... So he's going to be doing some crazy stuff. And, uh, yeah. And next up, this one is not a brass blade. This one is for Kylie. Or not for Kylie. This is for Killer Elite. But this one was done by Kylie at Knives and Stuff. CKC Knives. Uh, he put the, I put the handles on here. Uh, this is the blade. Is, is uh, I don't know what the steel is. But it's got sort of a hawk bill knife. This is insanely sharp. Uh, CKC knives are always insanely sharp. The guy prides himself on really, really sharp knives. I think this is a different knife than he usually does. It's more of a tactical knife. And I put the uh, natural pattern on there, kind of going at an angle, which I really like. Polish up the carbon fiber really nicely. And it's just gorgeous. Kind of like a uh, strider feel to the, to the grip. He has some philosophy about the grip shape. I'm sure Curly will tell you about it when he gets it. 
Uh, nice and thick for a killer elite because he's got big hands. It's a very comfortable knife. Uh, there's some way you're supposed to grip it specifically, but I'm thinking it's this because you got this nice area here. Not sure, but so uh, this one will be going to Killer Elite with his Manix tomorrow. This is really nice and smooth. And finally, I'm gonna recommend. Uh, this stuff I used to polish knives. I to find it. It was right next to me a second ago. Damn it, where is it? There it is. Uh, you may, people refer to it as Ren Wax, Renaissance Wax, Micro Crystalline Wax Polish. Stuff is amazing for uh, protecting your blade from rust or polishing up carbon fiber and materials like that, even, even uh, blade steel. Uh, it's not cheap. It's 15 bucks for this thing, but it should last a long time. A little tiny dab will last you forever. So I recommend this guy, especially for polishing carbon fiber. I mean, it like gets glassy. Like this one's actually just been held in my hand a lot, so it's a little bit not as. Uh... But look, this stuff stays on there, and you can just wipe it like with a. You know, these shop towels seem to bring it out really nicely, but uh, it gets like really, really nice and glassy. I definitely have gotten higher polishes than I've ever have uh, with this stuff. So last but not least, guys, this is a Hinder XM18 three and a half inch. This one, uh, I got, uh, the weekends I like to do stuff that I feel like doing. I either do my knives or projects that I'm really excited about. And I just got this material and the guy was nice enough to let me keep the rest of the material after I cut the scale out. So I did it yesterday because I'm getting prepared to do two more for uh, Be Done, probably today. Uh, when he comes over, uh, just because he's hooked me up with some awesome materials uh, from Alpha Knife Supply and Exchange. So, you know, Alpha Knife Supplies does this material, and this stuff is just absolutely sexy as hell. Uh, this is a different kind of Timascus than I've, than I've used before. So, I think this is the white Timascus. It's a little bit, I guess, a less money, I guess, or something. I don't know. Oh yeah, it's actually showing up on camera nicely. So this is like a twist Timascus. It's really smooth. If you want a nice smooth contoured. It's going to be hard because it's so shiny. It's going to be difficult to see it on camera. It's actually showing up very, very nicely. You can see those really rich colors here. Beautiful. You see the layering and the choils. It's just beautiful. And on the sides, the layering right here is really cool too. If you can get that. Yeah, look at that. That is so nice. This is just absolutely gorgeous. So there's less layering, I guess you'd say, because usually it's like really all over the place, like squiggly. So this one's not like that. It's super smooth, nice and centered. Everything's perfect on this guy. I kept, I was going to do it without the liners, but I decided to go with the liners. Uh, it's just the same thickness pretty much. Maybe a little tiny bit thicker on the other side, but it's super comfy. It's a lot thinner up front here, and a little bit little bit thicker in the back. All the jimping's there. I forgot jimping on his knife one time, so he's very... He tells me a lot about that. So yeah, everything's perfect. This thing is so smooth now. I don't know what, if I did that or the Timascus, like just being heavier or something, or the tolerance has changed, but it's just so smooth. This thing is beautiful. cool because the areas with the blue actually orange peeled a bit whereas the the areas with the reddish uh, purple and orange did not so it's like almost like a texture on there and there's not a single grind line on this thing I'm very very happy with the way it turned out and this stuff's like I don't know you don't really need the Windex to bring it out just like you know the, the grease doesn't from your fingers doesn't do anything but just makes smudges because it's so polished but there is not a grind line on there. I don't know how I pulled it off, but I did. And guys, if you're looking to get belts, Super Grit, uh, Super Grit, just spell it like that. They are the best. Uh, they literally, I deliver, I order something, 
before five o'clock and it's there the next morning. It's ridiculous. And they don't live, or they're, they're not in Pennsylvania. I don't know how they do it, but they're just really, really good with getting stuff to you and doing the stuff right. And they got good prices, really nice to talk to. So check out Super Great if you're looking for belts, guys. You probably all know that already, but. And also, I want to show something real quick. Or no, you know, I'll show them a different video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.